down and demand that they stop doing what they're doing. They're, they're telling us that they don't have any authority to do that, but they do have the moral authority. They do have the soapbox to stand up for your right. They have the state authority. They have the state authority. Well, sure, they got authority. Aren't we in a, a sovereign state in Nevada? These are elected officials, or wanting to be elected officials, and they do have authority. Our governor has authority to tell BLM and the federal government, you have no jurisdiction and authority here. Get out of here. And our uh, county government, isn't the county uh, sheriff, isn't his responsibility to protect us from people like that uh, abuse that's been going on with these uh, uh these the citizens, government. yeah, that's his job. His job. What about those cattle that they're stealing? They're in private property, my property. Why the heck don't he arrest those uh, rustlers? That's yeah. right. I, I, that's what I asked the lady who was there. She kind of took the the approach that, uh, well, we just want to de-escalate this and make sure that nothing happened. It's like, well, you're talking to the wrong people. They're, the people here are not starting anything. It's the people who are, who are throwing ladies to the ground, grabbing them from behind. And I said, you know, at what point does it stop? Uh, you know, are they allowed to rape people if they have the right uniform on? And this is, what's the sheriff supposed to do? I mean, isn't his job to protect their life, liberty, and property? Is, isn't his job to keep peace here? Well, in fairness, the governor has come out and slammed it and said it was illegal. I mean, these people are thieves. Hang on a second. Yes, go ahead, Alex. Well, no, the governor has now come out and said that he slammed it and said it's criminal. We just showed the headline. So the governor is now saying it's criminal. What did the governor say? I haven't seen that headline. What did the governor say is criminal? Uh, and he came out and slammed it and said that, that they shouldn't be seizing his cattle. Oh, good. The governor has now said that uh, they should not be seizing your cattle, that that's criminal. Well, I'm good. I'm happy with that. I, the governor's got to start standing up and uh, acting like he's a governor of the so sovereign state of Nevada. Uh, if he said that, I'm happy. Okay, okay. I, I want him to be able to make any final points he wants to make, but my final question is, if we see him assaulting people every day, uh, every evening it seems, is he concerned they're going to do it more and that they may push the wrong person? Alex has one final question. I want to know, are you concerned that there's going to be more violence, that it's going to escalate since we see them continuing to do what they're doing, even after they said that uh, they were not going to limit the First Amendment to an area, they seem to, uh, they still attack those two, those fellows last night. Yeah, that was quite interesting. The, the governor did make a stand the other day and told them to take down the First Amendment area signs. I noticed they didn't uh, go down. And they, they are still aggressive trying to get my cattle. So at this point, I would say, uh, the BLM is aggressive and continuing their uh, uh, what they think is their job to take me out of business. And the bad part is they're taking all of our rights and liberties here. This is a battle for liberty and justice, not justice, or liberty and uh, freedom. That's right. Any any final words that you would like to? Uh, we'll give you the last word as you want to go out. Is there anything else you want to say about property rights? Clarify. Uh, the fact that if they take your grazing rights or water rights, they can take anybody's property rights. So. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, my last word would be this morning, the day starting out, let's go and fight for America and fight for our freedom, fight for our Constitution. And uh, let's, uh, Governor and Sheriff, get some guts and come with us as citizens and let's whip this battle. It's a battle for uh, our freedoms and liberty across the United States. And I'm, I want to thank the for all of the prayers and all of the thoughts, I'm really grateful for that. And it, it is helping. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Bundy. We really appreciate you taking a stand. Yeah, tell Mr. Bundy thank you from Alex. And Alex says thank you. Thank you very much. All right, uh, David Knight, we're going out to break. I'm going to come back and hit other news. But Congress, Boehner, and others are starting to say that the administration is criminal and that uh, the attorney general is criminal and their folks are starting to resign, and this could really grow because they've done a lot more than Nixon ever did. I think it's time to go ahead and uh, move to indict, uh, just like John N. Mitchell, Eric Holder. Oh, clearly it is. Uh, he's been caught doing all of the things that Nixon did, but to a far greater extent. If you remember the articles of impeachment, one of them was using the IRS against his political enemies. Another one was stonewalling Congress, refusing to provide them documents. And this has been going on for a long time. And so we, we have to ask, how long do we allow the federal government to break the laws before we have anybody stand up and do anything about it? Exactly. And the country is on the verge of collapse. Cattle ranching is being announced as collapsing all over the country because they fix the markets and are harassing small operators. I mean, we are seeing a criminal mafia takeover. The criminal instinct doesn't want to see any of us operating on our own. 
It, do, it wants us under a big box store controlled by an offshore bank. We are conquered by foreign banks, not by Russians, but by foreign banks. We are that's, conquered by that's the Chicago. Right, and, and everybody, no, you, you may not have a ranch, you may not have a, a, a business, you just may have a car and a home. And guess what? That property is registered in your state, your county. That's where They're you pay your taxes. Travis if County they, is trying to charge people I know who bought $3,000 old truck. They're trying to charge them more in taxes than the bill of sale and what Kelly Blue Book says it's worth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that, I mean, that's an example. The power to tax is the power to destroy. But at least at the state level where this is all registered, we have the right to, we have the option to theoretically elect somebody else. The BLM is not on anybody's ballot. It's They're a rogue UN agency under UNESCO, literally under treaty. David Knight, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alex. This is all under a Bill Clinton executive order. 12,986, memory says. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. World. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts. Perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to UnseenNow.com and take action today. That's UnseenNow.com. I'm your masters of war. Economic war is the most ancient form of total war. The big guns. To dominate and control and enslave population. Slavery is economic war. It's making people dependent on you. We're going to talk about Senator Sessions and an incredible speech he gave. The full speech is up on Infowars.com. I don't play about three minutes of it. Where he says the president's involved in a deliberate plan to collapse U.S. law enforcement. Yes, they're collapsing everything. And you either recognize it or we fall. By the way, you either shop with local ranchers as much as you can, buy local as much as you can, go to farmer's markers, homeschool as much as you can, go to private school as much as you can, or they win. You need to shop with the Patriots. That's how we fund our operation. With sponsors like uh, MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex, great storable food, super high quality, MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find the specials. 
great non-GMO, organic, right here in the USA. Great customer service, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. We have the sponsors and then InfoWarsStore.com with the books, the videos, the pro-gun t-shirts, the great supplements uh, across the board, the inner health botanicals, but also the stuff that we've developed with Dr. Group and others. The best colloidal silver out there, the best lung cleanse out there, the super male vitality, the fluoride shield, nascent ionide, best out there. The, uh, the survival shield, all of it, the great coffee. This is how we fund the operation. We need your support so we can hardcore put the info out and decompartmentalize the military and the police and even government is listening, not just here but worldwide. I cannot believe that governments all over the world that comes out in the news listen to us. I mean, I, I can't believe that, that, that governments can't figure out what's going on, but I guess they're compartmentalized. They've been so close to it. We really know the game plan. We really know how to stop the enemy. And we need your support. We don't get taxpayer money like NPR, MSNBC. Look it up. They both get taxpayer money. We're funded by you buying our products, InfoWarsStore.com. Now, later, Boehner's coming out saying it's criminal takeover with the IRS and they need to be prosecuted. Holder's freaking out because people are talking about prosecuting him, playing race card now. Uh, it's coming down. The enemy is not invincible. They've had up on us that they're over-the-top evil, so people can't understand it or caught off guard but once we click it's over now let's go to senator sessions laying it out since the president took office interior removals have been cut nearly in half they've dropped by 44 percent uh more than half of the ice removals since 2009 are the border apprehensions where they just caught them at the border and send them back these are not interior deportations as the statistics used to be focused on. More than half, uh, uh, two-thirds of all ICE removals last year were border apprehensions. So not, I said half earlier, it's really two-thirds of the numbers that they're counting as deportations and removals are really border deportations that weren't previously counted as such. 94% of the people removed last year, get this, were either apprehended at the border, which is not a true deportation, or were convicted of a crime while in the United States. Do you hear that, colleagues? 94% of the people that were removed were either people captured at the border or had committed a serious crime. And most of the rest were repeat violators or fugitives that had been out on a, uh, arrested on a fugitive warrant. So, 99.9% of the 12 million illegal immigrants and visa overstays without known crimes on their record, uh, including those fleeing from authorities, did not face removal last year. The former ICE director John Sandwood said recently, if you are uh, a run-of-the-mill immigrant here illegally, your odds of getting deported are close to zero. It's just not going to happen. Now, that now folks, we're going to come back with in the next hour where he says it's a deliberate collapse. Okay, we'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.
waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network.